Let's, let's take an example of a global retailer who is going through a digital transformation in the USA and they're saying that we accept Bitcoins now as payment. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, pardon me. So when they go through this transformation of accepting these coins, what are some of the vulnerabilities? Yeah. So it's like if you're talking about like, uh, you know, it's like traditional companies, which is accepting, you know, it's like which has a wallet system or uh, accepting payments. Uh, that's again, it's like it, it's very similar to web to vulnerabilities where you can have bugs in your web application, like maybe an SQL injection or maybe an, you know, indirect object reference or maybe some way, you know, it's like people can reset others password, something like that. And they exploit those vulnerabilities to reach other other person's wallet and then, you know, it's like withdraw funds from it. Uh, but if you see at the smart contract level, uh, you know, it's like smart contracts are mostly, uh, you know, the, the, the codes are public because, you know, uh, the way it works, like, you know, the, you have to publish the codes uh, to be more, uh, what do you say, it's like to be more transparent. But that brings in, you know, it's like uh, ease of access to hackers as well, because now they can read the codes and find vulnerabilities in it. So uh, there are like like different sets of vulnerabilities in smart contracts, like, you know, uh, uh, some missing privilege where, you know, it's like, uh, normal users can uh, make admin uh, admin function calls and withdraw the funds and uh, or maybe uh, th there has been recent like a lot of flash loan attacks where you know uh, you find a business logic error where you can you know uh, you can artificially raise uh, uh, raise the price of something else and then arbitrage it to uh, just withdraw all the ethers from the contract so uh, this is you know it's like these are most of the common attacks which are technical but then uh, uh, there has been cases where you know the projects were really very carefully audited uh, there were no bugs but then they uh, the hackers targeted their uh, employees like stealing their private keys or you know finding leak so you know it's like at an organizational level if you are dealing with cryptos it is very important not only to secure a code but everything like maybe your web application your uh, cloud infrastructure and uh, I like uh, even like train your employees uh, so that they don't fall for phishing scams etc uh, so uh, this is this is this is what we do at Crit Shields, and uh, our like uh, Solidity scan, it's it's more about you know finding vulnerabilities in specifically in smart contracts. Mm -hmm.